since the day I was born to today, no one has ever made me cry twice consecutively. But this lady right here, Sela Torres, made the impossible possible. This lady gave me my most emotional welcome ever that made me cry. And this same lady made me cry again after seeing how she's using her YouTube platform to transform lives in her village. Sorry. Sorry. So good enough that I'm not sitting in the, the soil. That's Please it. like this video. It's so important to me. Share this video so that others can see this video because I believe that this lady right here is the most inspiring woman in Africa. I'm going to give you this title today. You are the most inspiring lady in the whole of Africa. Can we get a round of applause, man? There is a saying that you don't have to be a millionaire or a filthy rich person before you touch lives. We have two hands, right? One hand needs to help yourself and the other hand needs to help others. I believe this is how life is supposed to be. Can you believe that this lady used her 40,000 YouTube subscribers to build a school for her community? In the lockdown, I was um, teaching them uh, here because they did not know how to do anything, even big kids. And I was like, we need to do something. And my daughter, I went in town and bought books for her during the lockdown and then the kids started coming. They wanted to learn. So I was like, mom, I'll go down and buy some books for them. They start. So we started from there then. I was just vlogging as you know and I was like, these are my kids, they are studying. And then just one person at a time came, Sarah, I want to buy for them blackboard. Sarah, I want to buy for them mats. Sarah, I want to build for them. And that's how we got these rooms. And that's how the school came. You built a school in your village just because of YouTube? Yeah. So is this a government school or a private school? It's a community school. It's not a government. It's not a private. It's a community school. I just did this for my community. Can you believe that this lady used her 40,000 YouTube subscribers to build houses for elderly people in her community? So guys, this is the first house that I built in my community for my grandpa. Grandpa is here. He's uh, cooking milk. And by the way, this milk was sent to us through a subscriber from the US, so he is taking part of his gift. So we constructed this house. It's um, two rooms, a, a bed, and then the sitting room. And inside there, we bought for him a bed, a mattress, a net inside here. But as you know, his grandpa, you know. <laughs> yeah, and then we also built this one for him to hang his plates and then cook from here, as you're seeing. What even blew my mind? The fact that she feeds these kids by herself. We also prepare rice, yeah, for the kids. So, kosho or rice, yeah, that's mostly what we do, and maybe then porridge. I believe that this lady is doing God's work because there are kids that have lost their parent, and she's the same person that is taking care of them. And also, this baby and these ones, they are orphans. They are orphans? Yeah, her mom died when she was doing a housemaid in Kenya. So when they brought us to me, she was, he was two weeks old. And then for this one, he was malnourished because her parents died in a car accident. Oh my God. So they are my babies now. And I cannot come to this place without doing anything. Yeah. I am buying the tables and chairs, just to let you know that I'm leading by example. Please, please, please. Look how I'm talking to my audience. I'm making sure every kid has a uniform. You know what you guys need to do? We need to make sure that the whole school, I mean, start working fully. My strength is not enough, but I know that as a million community, we can even do better. The links are in the description. You guys should not disappoint me. We've done this before, and we're gonna do it again. Ah, uh, how are you, how are you? I need some tea. Where's my own tea? <laughs> they are preparing. Preparing? Yeah. Ah, you're taking so long. 
<laughs> so this is the water here. We are going to remove some water for the tea and then we are going to boil rice. Why are you making tea for? Uh, the, the, like we have my ladies. Those are, that's my club. Your club? Sarah's club. <laughs> what do you do in the club? So here, at first we did agriculture. We had a garden where we did vegetables. And right now we are looking for ways how we could get jobs. Like some wants to do hairdressing, tailoring. Oh my goodness. No, no, no. Can, can we a round of applause, man? I've met so many people across Africa, but I need to take the title from Daniel because I say that Daniel is the most inspiring gentleman in Africa. But I think I'm going to give you this title today. You're the most inspiring lady in the whole of Africa. Can we get a round of applause, man? Were you? No. See, what you've done, I, I have not even done that. This I can't is believe so it. Beautiful. Really? <laughs> no way. See, no. you brought all these people together? Yes. You know what you're doing? You're empowering women. Yes, 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 yes. Now, I, I, need to, I need to ask you guys for a favor. Please like this video for me. I, and I hope and believe that everyone needs to share this video because I'm so touched. I was here last night. I came very late and I promised that I'm going to be here again this morning. Yeah. Were you born here? Yes. You're born here? Yeah, this is my community. You grew up here? Yeah. Growing Life up? growing up was really hard. Uh, you know, our parents, like, for like my mom, she was always looking for sponsors. Like, they would tell he, her, like, this group, come here, they will give you the sponsor for your kids. And they never came. You, sometimes she pays her money and they never came. So, for me, in this mind, when I see people sponsoring, I feel like this is a prayer for my mom because she wanted it to be for us. By now, it's for the kids and then... And even the grandmas and grandpas at this comment, because whenever we see an elderly person, we want to give a hand. You ever left this place? Yeah, I left this place. To where? For four years, to Dubai. I worked as a housemaid. House made in Dubai. <laughs> yeah. For four years. Four good years. The struggle, the pain, the. the how, was, how was life in Dubai as a maid? Ah, uh, was good and bad. I won't say it was good, but again, it was not totally bad. My bosses were a little bit okay compared to what I hear, but of course, it's not good going and, and working in someone's house. You don't know the language. You're not of their same color. Far away from your parents, no friends. You're just stuck in just one room. Like you don't go out. You don't have to have friends. They have to be your friend. <laughs> and what brought you back? Uh, I saved up some money and I said I want to build for my mom. Oh. So my mom, she's a single mother. They separated with my dad when I was still young. So I had to come and build for her a small house. This one from here until there. This one? Yeah. This is your mom's house? Yes. Where's your mom? Uh, where is mom? She, she has a small business. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. You're She's packing ice cream for the Ice kids. cream? <laughs> ah, mommy! <laughs> yeah, and also this baby and these ones, they are orphans. They are orphans? Yeah, her mom died when she was doing a housemaid in Kenya. So when they brought us to me, she was, he was two weeks old. And then for this one, he was malnourished because her parents died in a car accident. My God. So they are my babies now. <laughs> you take care of all of them? Yeah, and I'm happy. Can I come in? Yeah. Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> thank you, mommy. I appreciate yes, you so I much. Yeah. Uh, I didn't see, can I hug you? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Good, thank you. I, I, I'm, I'm now your son, yes. so I need one ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's her business a little bit, yeah. I worked in Dubai. I built this. So before this one was your mom staying there? We were renting. 
<laughs> we were running. part of the house? No, no, this one, my subscribers built it to have a school because in the lockdown, I was um, teaching them uh, here because they did not know how to do anything, even big kids, and I was like, we need to do something. And my daughter, I went in town and bought books for her during the lockdown. And then the kids started coming. They wanted to learn. So I was like, mom, I'll go down and buy some books for them. They start. So we started from there then. I was just vlogging, as you know, and I was like, these are my kids, they are studying. And then just one person at a time came, Sarah, I want to buy for them blackboard. Sarah, I want to buy for them mat. Sarah, I want to build for them. And that's how we got these rooms. And that's how the school came. You built a school in your village just because of YouTube? Yeah. How? <laughs> it's because I want it's my passion and I had a dream and my mom was a teacher. So she was teaching before she gave birth to us. But my dad stopped her. Stop teaching, don't do anything. You go there and they will start. Uh, maybe other men will take you. So she stayed at home. But I forgive him. I'm so sorry to say this, but I forgive him. He's now okay and we're okay with him. I saw that it's her dream. And when the kids started coming, I was like, okay, mom can be a teacher again. I was like, okay, so that's how we have a school. So your mom also teaches the kids? Yes. Yes. <laughs> but but, but you, you started making YouTube videos when you were in Dubai? Or? Yes, I was in Dubai. Mm -hmm. By the way, I, I, when I started, I was on YouTube seeing these people, how they are doing it. But they was in America like that. And I was like, well, do we anyone in Uganda or in Africa doing YouTube? Then Miss Judy came and she was like, a video of um, she turned a millionaire in Uganda. Uganda. Yeah. That was the first video. When I saw it, I was like, I can do it. Then I started wow. posting just because of her. Oh, honestly, I started posting. I knew about it, but I started posting just because of her. Does she, does she know that you inspired her? No, 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 she doesn't know that she inspired me. I want to tell her that. So sweet. That's like the sweetest thing anyone's ever seen to me. So, so that, that, does it mean that in this community there was no school or something? We had one government school, and okay. it is a bit far. You know, for us, we grow sugar cane. Like just, you pass through sugar yeah, cane, yeah, yeah. so here we used to grow sugar cane okay. and kids could pass through the sugar cane mm. going to school and mm. it was risky, they could kidnap them, beat them, just find them and tell them come and do this job and they will not treat at school, so that's why. And for the young babies, and mostly here we are teaching these young babies because mm. we want them to grow up when they know, like their knowledge is not starting at age of eight or nine because in the government schools, they start at age eight to nine. Hmm. So we want them to start at at least age six to study. That's why we have them here. I can hear sounds of kids. Is that yeah. your new school? Yes, this is my new school. <laughs> Wademaya, this is the new school that I wanted you to see. Help me write to Wademaya everywhere. Tell him so that tourist is waiting for him in the village. Honestly, we are preparing, like we are organizing things, stuff. We don't know if he's going to come, but we know that God is hearing our prayers. And this one, we built it from YouTube. And we built it through your inspiration, and we built it because Miss Tudy showed me the light. She never knew that, but that's how you're inspiring people. Uh, no, I, I'm, I'm not the one who inspired you to do this. <laughs> Because I've never done anything no, like no, this no, before. No. There's a school you showed that you went there and visited. By then I had started, but you know I have small hopes. But when I saw that, I was like, okay, if they can do, I can do it. I now know the school. Yes. <laughs> so through the YouTube videos, it inspired you to build a school. Yes. And I've never built a school for my village. <laughs> Aha, no, I'm building a new school for where I was born. You've Thank inspired you. me. Thank you. No, you've Please inspired do. me. Please, Please do. And you have to be the school teacher, by the way. Yes! <laughs> this is the book I've just started to study. This is their first month in a school. They sit on the ground to study. Yeah, you know, there's a lot happening, and because of the finance. Can you do the cost of how much it's gonna cost for you to get table and chair for everyone? I'm gonna pay for it. Really? Yeah, I'll pay for it. Wait, wait, wait.
What, what this lady has done has really blown my mind. And I don't believe that as a community, if, how many subscribers do you have? I have 40K. With 40,000 people, she built a school. <laughs> We're a million people. <laughs> See? But you have done a lot. No, too. no, 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 no. <laughs> we, we, we have to do this together, man. Yeah. I am buying the tables and chairs, just to let you know that I'm leading by example. <laughs> I'm talking to my audience. Mm. I'm making sure every kid has a uniform. You know what you guys need to do? We need to make sure that the whole school, I mean, start working fully. And you and I have to be part of it. Thank this is going to be by force. I'm not going <laughs> to beg you or anything like that. You see, kids like this, mm. they are the future leaders of Uganda. True. And I know and believe that yeah. you and I can play a role. I promise you, I'll be back here again. Thank you, that will be so good. And I promise you when you come, it will be a different setting. How, how, You're how, welcome. How, how many classroom blocks do we you have? We have six. Six? Yes. Hello? Thank you. So this is our first class that we ever had in this school because we started last year and then this is the Sam done in the uniforms. They are our LD students here. This is their second year. Because we start from there, then to this class as we go up. Wow. Yeah. For this do, one. Do they pay school fees? No. It's free. You know some of the kids, they are orphanies, some that these are kids for mothers who are 16, 15. Some, they have nothing to do, you know, some are married, but you know, the husband is just lousy, so. So how, how, <coughs> how, how sustainable is this for you? How sustainable, how, how will you be able to sustain the school? Um, for right now, we are trying to see then, uh, for in the future, we are planning to set up a standard fee. No, let me, no. Mm. I, I, I don't want you to set up a standard fees, mm. but uh, how many kids do you have in the school? We have 206 right 206. now. 206. Yeah. In a year, how much do you think you can spend on a kid? I haven't calculated, really. I want to do this. Mm. I want every subscriber of mine to have one kid mm. from this school. Yeah, that's so So every, cool. every subscriber today, mm. right, you have to, I mean, have a kid that you take care of the kid so the kid graduate from do school and goes to a high school or something. All right, so. So please um, come up with a system. Yeah. Where every, some, they might be abroad, they might be in different countries. Yeah, yeah. But they will be sending you money, making sure the kids are okay. But my subscribers are crazy. You know why? And what am I telling you? Your fans are not easy. They are, they want to make sure that you weren't lying <laughs> and, that I, and that I was real. They have come here. They have come, at least five of them, five, some of them, your wife and husband, mother and daughter, have come to visit Kumasi when they come to Ghana. Uh -huh. We have about 10 that's coming this year from England, from Jamaica, from US, who want to see exactly what we've done. One just last two Sundays ago uh -huh. came to see the two children that he sponsored. Thank God, we're real. <laughs> so I'm doing this and I know that they will listen to me. Thank but you. But make a system where when they come, they will know that this is the kid that they're taking care of. Okay. okay. All right? Yes. They will see, they will show the pictures, everything, anything they want. I'm just ready because I am looking for the future of our village and Uganda and Africa at large. So if you give them that modernity right now, they'll grow up when they, at least they are advanced a little bit. So we are going in a top class. Oh. Wow. Mm -hmm. Thank 
you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank so, you. Uh, some so, are not here mm -hmm. because it's a Sunday. Sunday yeah. yeah. But some have went to church, so, like, as yeah. you know. Yeah. But these are the nearby okay. that you have talked to. So, and some are Muslim because for them they attend on Friday. Okay. So that's why they are, the number is a little bit small, but we have a big number. Okay. And this is our, also our old class. We have been teaching so, them. It means the whole, your whole class doesn't have like, because I've seen chess, there's no chess and tables because kids need to... Yes, we, so for, for the manual, uh, we bought this as something quick because they are all sitting down and we want, we do not want that. So Have, have, you, have you done inquiries in terms of how much does it... Yeah, you should, you should I a, did. You should, get a, you should get a carpenter from... Here? Yeah. Then you guys make the stuff from here? Yeah. So that when I, I'm, I'm giving you money, I know that, okay, this is how much I need supposed to give you so that all the class will be... Yeah, for the desks we asked, and then for this for the three classes, we want to, to, to make a, a table and then a seat as we did. So that even if a teacher gives them just a paper. Mm. Yeah, so this is also another class. Thank you. Thank you. So Thank you. this is the setting, as you have seen. Like they will sit here like this. Then we have a table in the middle so that they could be All around. Around, because sometimes we have the cards, sometimes we have these big charts, but which are not enough that we can't give to every kid. So if they share, they will know that they are learning about letter A, or they are learning about this animal, or they are learning about maybe something together in a group. So that's why we decided we will make it. One table, they sit four on each table, or six accordingly. Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> this is the last class. Yeah, this is primary theory, and we end at primary theory. So, but we have to go to primary four, five, six, and then seven. Then we we finish the primary level, and then they will be able to go to the secondary level. So, are you have? Do you have anything in place to build the primary four to seven? Yeah, yeah. So this is the land until where the toilet is. Ah. From where that nini comes from, up to there, where the toilet is. So this is our toilet. So you first of all acquired a land, you bought the land? Yes. I said my money that I go, I get, the, my salary, is that I fail up and... <laughs> you bought this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, for my subscribers, they built, like they were sending me money to, to build. So is this a government school or a private school? It's a community school. It's Co not a government, it's not a private, it's a community school. I just did this for my community. So these are the workers. I'm so glad that in this school we are not just helping the kids. They are workers because someone who builds doesn't roof. Mm. So like we have so many workers, like everyone is getting something through this project. What, what do you do personally? Uh, personally, I have a motorbike. Ha! Huh. Yeah. <laughs> so. What do you mean you have a motorbike? Uh, I have this border border, like I, I own one. That's it? Yeah. Th that's the only business you do? That's the only business I do for So now. You, you take it to town and you get y people? No, no, no. I, I gave it to someone. Oh, okay. So he, he moves around with it. He, at the end of the day, he gives me something. Apart from the school, is there anything else you're doing for the community? Yes, I'm building for the elderly. What? Yeah, I have built for four, for five pupils. You build that scene? Yeah, a house, a sm small house. At least it, it's better than where they are living. But yeah. what inspired you to build houses for them? I had my grandpa, he mm -hmm. was living really bad. And by that time I had nothing. So I went there because her house had fallen because of rain. I went there to renovate. And then one of my subscribers told me, Sarah, uh, put a roof on his house and I was like okay then she sent me one million Ugandan shillings and I thought this would be enough to start building. So I start from there. 
so admire this is also a house it's a surprise house i don't want to reveal it more but someone one of my subscribers is constructing for someone special in my community have been helping us like a lot so it's a surprise to him Ooh. it have five rooms five because rooms. yeah this oh, is the sock pit so they have this toilet to sit on it's going to be amazing only that because of the money issues it would have been finished by now oh. yeah so we had why finished. are you trying to surprise you don't want to tell me. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. I know. I, maybe you, the, you pers the person will see the video? No, but okay. I don't want my subscriber to know. I want to surprise them. Oh, okay. <laughs> I want to surprise my... Then, but most then, of then, I guess, then I guess the surprise house will be mine. <laughs> so far, how many people have you built for in this community? Five people. Five people? Yeah, five. And I know and believe that you still do more. Yeah, of course. There are so many, like, right now, even my subscriber on YouTube, who are Ugandans, they are recommending me some elder women is in their community like that. But, you know, just because I'm limited, I can't do a lot. And, of course, I can't do everything, but at least I will do those little tiny things that I can manage. I just want to tell you, you're an inspiration. Thank you. You've inspired me. And I know and believe that when I go back to Ghana, there's Please. a lot of things that I'm going to do just because of you. Thank you. I will be glad. What kind of support do you need from us? Uh, honestly, the first support is to watch me because that money, when they watch, I get that money so that I, I can do more things. And of course, if you have a percentage that you, can, you would want to donate to our school or the community or the kids that I, the orphans that I have, anyone, because in case you, if you want to know more about what I'm saying, I video everything, like everything is on my channel. Con gets some minutes, go there and check and see, then you will get the big picture of what I'm talking about. Then you will pick which family, a school, which kid, because I have so many people that need help. So if they come in and support me, it will be good. But the most one, kindly watch me. Yeah. Uh, the YouTube channel name is? Sarah Tourist. And you know how we do it? It's by force. I'm not going to beg you guys. It's by force because what she's doing, she's using YouTube to change the whole community. Yes. This is something that I've never done and thought of even doing. So listen, I am going to subscribe. No, I've already subscribed. Yes. So why am I saying I'm going to subscribe? <laughs> so you all need to subscribe and it's by force. Yes. And for the support, you know how we do it. Yes, yes. I have pledged to support mm. and you all need to join and let's make this happen. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. Yes. I want her to create a new Gold Family link for me. Really? Create and give me the link. How much money do you want from us? <laughs> They're going to do it. Don't tell them. They'll do, they'll do it. Name how your many? price. How many? Just name your price. They'll do it. $10,000. Ha! These guys. You are, you are thinking they are cheap people. Okay, how much? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> she, 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 she requested for 10K, but I know you and I can do 20K. Yeah? Yes, thank you. All right, so I don't want to, I don't have enough time. I would have spent the whole day in yes, the village. Yes, yeah. But all I want to tell you guys, thank you so much for watching this amazing video. Mm -hmm. um, if you had a chance to change one thing in Africa, what will it be? That one thing is to change our feelings. We are so negativity, we don't believe in other people that they can change. Like that negativity is something that is really pissing me off. You can do something. Like right now there are so many people who blame me. Why am I doing this? And they're, mostly they are Ugandans, can you imagine? So I just want that to stop. Like let's support each other. Well, if, if someone is doing something a little, support them, not financially, but just encourage okay, them. Encourage them. Give a, a nice word, a nice comment, but they can comment you and feel like, what am I doing? Is it really right? Hmm. That one, if it could change, you will have a perfect Africa. I know and believe that this video touched your heart, just like how this video touched me when I was filming. Do me a favor, let's support this community together, and we will adopt this school as our own. Don't forget to like this video, share, so that so many people will know the most inspiring woman in Africa. Thank you, and I'll see you all tomorrow.